For decades, China has been investing heavily in Africa, building infrastructure and transforming the economic landscape of the continent. In this video, we will explore 10 out of many significant projects completed by China in Africa, the impact they have had on the local communities and the continent as a whole. If you are new here, please consider subscribing for more videos about mineral resources and infrastructure projects around the globe. And, please don't forget to click on the like button. Clicking on the like button do help support the channel. These are 10 of many completed projects completed by Chinese companies in Africa. Ethiopia Djibouti Water Pipeline The Ethiopia Djibouti Water Pipeline is a major infrastructure project connecting Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, to the port city of Djibouti. The pipeline was completed in 2017 and cost an estimated $500 million to construct. The pipeline spans 767 kilometers and is capable of transporting up to 2 billion liters of water per year. The water is sourced from the Malkawekna Dam located in Ethiopia's Oromia region, which provides clean water to over 700,000 residents in Addis Ababa. In addition to providing clean water to Ethiopia's capital, the pipeline also benefits Djibouti, a neighboring country with limited access to freshwater resources. The Ethiopia Djibouti Water Pipeline is a significant milestone for both Ethiopia and Djibouti as it has helped to address the critical issue of water scarcity in the region. The project has also strengthened economic ties between the two countries and provided a model for other African nations facing similar water challenges. Bui Hydroelectric Power Station The Bui Hydroelectric Power Station is a major hydroelectric power project located in Ghana. The project was initiated in 2007 and the first turbine of the plant was commissioned in 2013. The entire project was completed in 2014 at a total cost of approximately $800 million. The Bui Hydroelectric Power Station is located on the Black Volta River in the Bono region of Ghana, and it has an installed capacity of 400 megawatts. The power station comprises of three generating units, each with a capacity of 133 MW. The main objective of the project was to increase Ghana's power generation capacity and reduce the country's dependence on imported electricity. The Bui Hydroelectric Power Station provides clean and reliable energy to over 300,000 households in Ghana, and it has also helped to support the country's industrial growth. The project also includes a 39-meter-high dam, which has created a reservoir covering an area of approximately 400 square kilometers. The reservoir has become an important site for fishing and other recreational activities. Lekki Deep Sea Port Nigeria's Lekki Deep Sea Port is a large-scale infrastructure project situated in the Lekki Free Trade Zone and Lagos State. The port is expected to be the deepest port in West Africa, with a depth of 16.5 meters, which will allow it to accommodate larger vessels, including the new Panamax class of container ships. The project is being built in three phases, with phase one involving the construction of a 1,000-meter key and 13 berths with an annual handling capacity of 1.5 million TEUs. The Lekki Deep Sea Port Project is a public-private partnership project with the Nigerian Ports Authority and the Lagos State Government as the public partners and the Lekki Port LFTZ Enterprise as the private partner. The project is expected to create more than 170,000 direct and indirect jobs and generate significant revenue for the government. The cost of the Lekki Deep Sea Port project is estimated at $1.5 billion. The project is expected to increase Nigeria's port capacity and boost the country's economy by attracting more foreign investment and enhancing its global trade competitiveness. Addis Ababa, Djibouti Railway the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is a major railway project that connects Ethiopia's capital city, Addis Ababa, to the port city of Djibouti in Djibouti. The railway is a key part of the Ethiopian government's plan to develop the country's infrastructure and boost economic growth. The project is a joint venture between the Ethiopian and Djiboutian governments, with significant financial and technical support from China. The railway covers a distance of approximately 752 kilometers and was completed in 2016 at a cost of around $4 billion. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is an important transportation link, connecting landlocked Ethiopia to the sea. The railway provides an efficient and cost-effective means of transporting goods and people between the two countries, reducing the cost of imports and exports and supporting economic development in the region. The railway is also expected to play a key role in improving regional integration and facilitating trade between East African countries. It has already stimulated the growth of new industries and businesses along the railway line, creating new jobs and opportunities for local people. Kribai Deep Sea Port The Kribai Deep Sea Port is a major infrastructure project in Cameroon, aimed at developing the country's transportation and logistics capabilities. The project is located in the city of Kribai, on Cameroon's southern coast, and is being developed by the Cameroonian government in partnership with a consortium of international companies. The port project is a major investment, with an estimated cost of around $1 billion. The development includes the construction of a deep water port capable of handling large vessels. 
as well as associated infrastructure such as container terminals, logistics zone, and rail and road connections to the interior of the country. The Kribai Deep Sea Port is a strategic project for Cameroon, as it will provide a direct link to international shipping routes and support the country's growing exports of commodities such as oil, timber, and cocoa. It is also expected to play a key role in promoting economic growth and job creation, both in the local region and throughout Cameroon. Maputo Katem Bridge The Maputo Katem Bridge is a landmark infrastructure project in Mozambique, spanning the Maputo Bay and connecting the city of Maputo with the district of Katem. The bridge is the longest suspension bridge in Africa, with a main span of 680 meters and a total length of 3 kilometers. The construction of the bridge was a major undertaking, with an estimated cost of over $700 million. The project was financed by a consortium of international lenders and developed in partnership with a Chinese construction company. The Maputo Katem Bridge has transformed transportation in Mozambique, providing a vital link between the two sides of Maputo Bay and reducing travel time between Maputo and Katem from several hours to just a few minutes. The bridge has also improved access to key economic areas and tourist attractions in southern Mozambique, including the Maputo Special Reserve and the beaches of Ponta do Aro. The project is seen as a symbol of Mozambique's growing economic development and international cooperation. Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway The Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway is a modern railway system in Kenya connecting the coastal city of Mombasa to the capital, Nairobi. The railway was officially launched in May 2017 after four years of construction and an investment of over $3.8 billion. The SGR is a game-changer for Kenya's transportation sector, replacing the outdated and unreliable colonial-era railway with a modern, efficient, and reliable transport system. The railway line spans over 470 kilometers and has a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour, cutting travel time between Mombasa and Nairobi from over 12 hours to just under 5 hours. The railway project was a partnership between the Kenyan government and the China Road and Bridge Corporation who constructed and financed the project. African Union Conference Center and Office Complex The African Union Conference Center and Office Complex is a modern conference facility located in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It was officially opened in January 2012 after two years of construction and an investment of approximately $200 million. The complex was built to provide a world-class facility for the African Union to host meetings, conferences, and other high-level events. The center has a capacity of over 2,500 people and features state-of-the-art facilities, including a plenary hall, conference rooms, exhibition halls, and a media center. The construction of the complex was funded by the Chinese government, which provided a grant of $124 million to the O to finance the project. The Chinese government also provided technical support and expertise to ensure that the project was completed on time and to the highest standards. The African Union Conference Center and Office Complex has become a symbol of the growing relationship between China and Africa and a testament to China's commitment to supporting Africa's development. Simba Hydroelectric Power Station The Simba Hydroelectric Power Station is a hydropower plant located on the River Nile in Uganda. The plant has a capacity of 183 megawatts and was officially commissioned in March 2019. The project was funded by the Ugandan government, with support from the African Development Bank, the World Bank, and the European Union. The Asimba Hydroelectric Power Station in Uganda was constructed by China International Water and Electric Corporation. CWE is a subsidiary of China Three Gorges Corporation, a state-owned enterprise and one of the world's largest hydropower companies. Construction on the project began in 2013 and was completed in 2018, with a total cost of approximately $567 million. The Asimba Power Station is expected to increase Uganda's electricity generation capacity, which is crucial for the country's economic development. The Asimba Power Station is part of Uganda's effort to increase its energy production and reduce its dependence on fossil fuels. And the wider East African region, National Assembly Building. The National Assembly Building is a legislative complex located in Banjo, the capital city of Gambia. The building serves as the meeting place for the members of the Gambia National Assembly, which is the country's unicameral legislative body. The construction of the National Assembly Building was funded by the Chinese government as part of a bilateral cooperation agreement between China and Gambia. The project was carried out by the Shanghai Construction Group, a state-owned enterprise in China, and it cost around $34 million. The building was completed in 2015 and it covers an area of 10,000 square meters. It consists of two main structures, the Parliamentary Building and the Conference Hall, which are connected by a skywalk. The Parliamentary Building has three floors, with the ground floor housing offices for the staff of the National Assembly, while the upper floors are reserved for the members of Parliament and their support staff. The building's design was inspired by the traditional Gambian roundhouses, and it features a circular shape and a thatched roof. 
The National Assembly Building has become a landmark in Banjul and it is a symbol of the strong relations between Gambia and China, the criticism and controversies of Chinese companies. Despite the many benefits that China's projects have brought to Africa, there have also been criticism and controversies surrounding China's involvement in the continent. Some have raised concerns about the impact of China's loans on African countries, with some countries struggling to repay their debts. Despite the criticism, the Chinese infrastructure projects in Africa are making life better for Africans. I hope you find this video informational and useful. Please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you have not already done so. Until next time, goodbye.